I'm back and better than ever. That is what Eric Bischoff used to say. Now that is what WWE are saying in regards to Twitch as they sign a new multi-year partnership in return to the platform. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and there's some breaking news here in the social media aspect of professional wrestling today. And that is that WWE have announced a multi-year partnership with Twitch that will see the return of the official WWE channel and popular WWE superstar channels featuring live and exclusive content. So we know this is a big deal because in the past there were several wrestlers that were in WWE and they wanted to do Twitch. They were making decent money from Twitch. Especially some of the women. They were getting to do Twitch and they were like making OnlyFans money without having to do OnlyFans. You'd maybe have Selena Fager there sitting in her underwear pretending to play games with a controller that's not even plugged in but she'd be sitting there looking hot and everyone would be donating money, donating money, donating money. And uh, we know that's partly the reason why she left and in the first place she wanted a union but as soon as she got called back and got offered money and was signed up to the WWE again the whole union thing kind of got dropped just like she did at Backlash against Rhea Ripley but anyway this new deal will see a return of a WWE channel and obviously the superstars involved in WWE but it will also see a brand new uh webcast or you know program that is going to be featured live every monday night so that's what the statement says and in addition to the launch of the wwe channel wwe will debut today a companion sidecast to monday night raw bringing the wwe universe behind the scenes and closer to the in-ring action the weekly viewing experience will be led by a rotating cast of hosts and will regularly feature appearances by WWE superstars, unique and exclusive content such as backstage interviews and more. Viewers can stream the sidecast live every Monday beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Twitch app. So there you go guys. WWE back on Twitch and now they're going to be doing a new stream every Monday night parallel to Raw so you're going to have Monday night Raw on and at the exact same time they're also going to be streaming what looks like they're going to give you a backstage insight on what's happening we're going to get interviews is it going to be similar to like a pre-show where we have panels I'm assuming something like that um, I mean it does kind of sound cool don't get me wrong I mean the idea sounds pretty good but when you factor in this is happening during raw are you really supposed to tell me that you want people sitting watching raw on their television and then also have their laptop or mobile phone on and they're watching raw on on twitch you want people to watch three hours of raw twice on a monday night you want people to consume six hours of raw every Monday night really and it's like I mean how much is too much and again I feel like this could kind of mess with the show as well as much as the concept does kind of sound cool it's like are they going to take away things from the actual show and just put them on this twitch like you used to get backstage interviews all the time are they going to maybe stop doing that are they going to put that stuff on twitch we can see now under triple h that he likes to have his longer matches he's a big fan of longer matches could that be something they implement will they make raw maybe more match heavy will it just raw be basically featuring on promos and matches whereas twitch might be everything like outside of the ring like everything backstage so anything that's to do with the locker room or anything that's to do in the backstage or the gm office or anyone arriving to the car park to the arena is maybe that stuff that's going to be exclusively shown on twitch and that's going to be taken away from the actual live broadcast we'll have to wait and see we will have to wait and see now don't get me wrong it does sound cool but to me I think this is going in the wrong direction. I think this is kind of showing you. I hope that if, at least if they're doing backstage stuff, I hope they keep it kayfabe. You know, I hope that it's. I hope it's not like they bre they're breaking kayfabe and it's like total divas where they show you behind the scenes and all that. I hope it's not like a documentary type thing where they're showing you behind the scenes and they're uh, basically not acknowledging that <laughs> wrestling is real. Hopefully, it's not like that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Guys, let me know your opinion down below. And obviously, it also allows WWE superstars to go back on Twitch. I know that AJ Styles had a Twitch channel. Uh, I think he was doing pretty good in that. He moved to Mixer once the WWE thing fell down. No idea if he still does it. Selena Fager 
was one of the big Twitch streamers. Paige, who has now joined AEW, was also another big streamer on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, interesting here that WWE have decided to join back up on the uh, streaming platform and the fact that they are going to run a brand new stream every single Raw, par par every single Monday parallel to Raw, should I say. It's um, it's strange, but you know what? I'll give it a go. Who knows? Maybe tonight I might tune in a little bit, but I don't know. I, I think the idea sounds good. I'm not denying that, but I think this could be a bad idea at the same time. You know, I think it could be something that sounds good and maybe for the first week or whatever you go, oh, that was cool, that was interesting, I want to see that again. But I do think over time, you know, I, I, I believe that this will just be you know three hours of wasteful streaming so yeah we'll see what happens guys let me know your thoughts down below i will catch you in the next one being fog wrestling thanks for watching and peace